Gucci Mane drops all artists from the 1017 label, except for Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano. Everybody else gotta go. Now I'm making this video for people that, uh, that don't understand why, and I'm making this video to let the artists know something. Now, for those that don't know nothing about a PL sheet who don't know what that means, this part is for you. PL stands for profit and loss. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh man, Gucci messed up, Gucci messed up. Man, hey man, it's all business. Take it from a nigga that didn't had to drop all them niggas. <laughs> cause it, cause, cause you throwing money in a trash can. You wasting time. See, see, you got some of these niggas, they don't bring nothing to the table but some rapping. Yeah, they cold as hell at rapping. That's all they can do, though. They don't pay for studio time. They don't pay for beats. They don't pay for mixing, mastering, no graphic designs, those nice album covers. They don't pay for that. They don't pay for videos. They don't pay uh, uh, even the digital shit, marketing, promotion. These niggas don't even promote their own music. So they don't pay for no promotion, no uh, marketing. You know, uh, you might put them on Rap Caviar and all these different playlists and shit on uh, the digital music platforms. They don't pay for none of that. So imagine taking an artist off the street and you put $100,000 into this nigga and he can't even break 10000 Shit, some of these niggas can't break 1500 You throwing money in a trash can. P&L, profit and loss. Now, most of y'all that's talking shit, because I know y'all talking shit, y'all don't know nothing about running a business at all, let alone a, a, a record label or distribution company or, you know what I mean? Hey, man, them niggas got to go. Them niggas got to go. Man, I, I, I forgot, I think it was 2022 or 2023. Man, I dropped all them niggas. I'm talking 20, 30 niggas. Ah, fuck all that. If I'm be throwing money and time in the trash, I might as well put it on somebody else. I might as well spend it on myself. And see, that's why I want to come in and let the artists know something. Because I never been, uh, you know, I did music too. I rapped and shit too. But I never was the one that wanted to be the number one guy. Even though people always knew that, you know, it's all about me. It, you know, I was always the one. But I never, I always tried to uplift other niggas. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Money and time wasted. I showed y'all, uh, I'm going to put a, a video in the uh, description of a time that I had to expose an artist that was on Facebook talking crazy. He called himself, and, and I'm still upset he didn't tag me in the post, right? He said my government name and all that shit, but he didn't tag me. I'm still a little, I'm still a little salty about that. You know what I mean? Tag me, please. Y'all know I like to get in the comment section and roast, right? But I did a video about that, nigga. That's, that's another nigga. Didn't bring none to the table. Oh, man. Nigga releasing my songs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Correction. Those are my songs. You pay for nothing. You bring nothing but some raps. And shit, my nephew can do better than that. But that's a whole nother story, right? But I do want to say this to the artists that be so quick to sign to another rap, nigga. See, Gucci's still rapping. That's why I don't understand niggas signing to niggas like Boosie and, you know, guys that's still trying to be number one. You want to go sign to somebody that ain't even worried about the rap shit no more. They might be doing TV, film, and doing other shit. They don't care about being no number one rapper. Why you sign to a nigga that want to be the number one rapper in the world still? You going to always be competing with them. The reason why Gucci is keeping Fujiano and Pooh Shiesty is because they do decent numbers. They numbers probably close to heels. And it don't make no sense to drop them. He making a nice little chunk of change off them. The rest of you niggas, nigga throwing money in the trash. So if you're going to sign to an artist that's still trying to be number one, you have to keep in mind that you are competing with that artist on that label. It's the same thing like the big labels. Niggas be thinking that they signed to a, oh man, I ain't signed to no major. I'm signed to such and such. And you competing with such and such because he still want to be the best rapper in the goddamn world. You know what I mean? So, uh, I hope this video was valuable. I hope this video was uh, inspiring for some of y'all. 
you know you gotta pick and choose you know what i mean and, and you gotta always keep in mind this is business and it's not my business to teach you business it's not my business to try to get you to understand how this shit work you're supposed to come to the table knowing something otherwise that's how you get fucked in the game are y'all mad at Gucci man? I know y'all like, man, that nigga that man. Y'all, y'all need to stop fucking with these nigga man. These nigga would. This is business. So my question to y'all, do y'all think he's wrong? Get in that comment section. But first hit that like button, hit that share button. But most importantly, get in that comment section. Let me know what you think, man.